Hey folks, it's Dr. Gersmar from Aspire Natural Health. Welcome. I want to share with you today a little bit about why I got into medicine, which is one of the big questions that people ask. And it all started with a phone call one night where I picked up and my mom was just sobbing. So at the time, I was a college student. I'd gone to classes for the day and then to work afterwards. And once the business closed, I stayed on as the janitor to clean up. So after a long, long day driving home, I put a microwave meal in the oven, took off my shoes, and the phone rang. Thinking it was a friend of mine calling, I picked it up to find my mom sobbing on the other side of the phone. Now, that day, my mom and dad had left the house and they'd headed to the hospital. My dad was having a routine surgery that the doctor assured us was absolutely no problem. He'd be back home. Everything would be great. Didn't even think about it that morning as I headed to classes. But once I got the tears calmed down a little bit and I was able to understand what my mom was saying, she tearfully said that my dad, they think he'd suffered a stroke and he might not survive the night. So I hurriedly gulped down that meal, burning my mouth in the process, put my shoes back on, and drove to the hospital to find my dad in the intensive care unit, surrounded by machines with tubes in, in all the different places and some pretty grim looking doctors. Now, thankfully, over the coming weeks, he did survive and moved forward, but it changed my life entirely. You see, the day before my dad left to have his surgery was the day my girlfriend, who is now my wife, and I had our engagement party. We were so excited. We were going to, I was going to finish school, going to get married, all those things, and now my life was on hold. My job was to be a caretaker for my dad for the next year and, and a little bit. So this is from a kid who had been healthy. I'd never really had much to do with doctors or hospitals until that point. I was blessed to have a happy, healthy childhood. I thought the only time you went to the doctor was maybe once a year uh, for a physical. And then, you know, if something hurt and otherwise you try to stay as far away from doctors as you could. Well, things changed completely for me. And I began being one of the main caretakers, taking my dad to every doctor's appointment, all the therapy sessions. We were full of hope at the time because my dad, he was a strong, ambitious guy who when he put his mind to something, he got it done, and we thought he'd be back on his feet for too long. We were so grateful that the doctors who had saved his life and the system was giving us a path forward. Go to therapy, do your pieces, and everything is gonna be all right. Unfortunately, that hope quickly turned to frustration as we saw some of the issues. And one day, my mom and I were sitting at the table when the insurance company informed us that they were done. My dad had received all the therapy he was going to receive, and their obligation to us was finished. Our, our jaws hit the table. We sat stunned, looking at each other and just crying about it. I mean, how could they possibly be done? My dad, he was certainly better than right after the stroke, but he still had a long, long ways to come. He wasn't the man that we knew. He couldn't hold a conversation. He could barely, barely take care of himself. What do you mean done. Compound this with the frustrations I was having with his medical doctors. You know, at first it was great, but then we began to see holes in his care where things were really lagging. And I began to ask, is there anything else that can be done? Are there any other therapies we could try or any other approaches we could do? And always the answer was no, no, no. We're doing everything that is effective for your father, there is nothing else that can be done. So again, I'm grateful to the system for everything they did do, but then they turned around and abandoned us, left us feeling high and dry, and just left us to our own devices. And as I sat there staring at my mom and we were crying, I knew there had to be more that could be done. This was not the end of the story. This is not the way why I was going to leave my family. So I figured, I determined I was gonna do something more, and I began researching. And you know what? I found there was more. Unlike the closed-minded, narrow view that many medical doctors out there have, there was a lot more that could be done. There were many options and alternatives which weren't even considered. I discovered that in China, for instance, after someone has a stroke, they're in the hospital, they're receiving all the best medical care possible, but they also begin acupuncture the day of their stroke, and they've shown increased recovery with that. But 
Was that an option that was even mentioned to us? No, there wasn't. I found that nutrition makes a huge deal on how someone recovers and how healthy they are, how sick they are. At the time, all I knew was if you ate a lot of junk food, you get fat. And that was it. When I asked the doctors if nutrition made any difference, they told me no. And that is still a story I hear to this very day, many years later, not okay. I found that there were things like neurofeedback and many, many other tools that could have been used to help my dad, but we were never even told that they were an option. So my plan was to explore these tools and others to learn what we could do. Uh, since I couldn't there was no one I could get to help me. I determined that I was going to do it myself. And this was before the internet is the thing that it is today. At the time, there was no Facebook. There was no Google. There was no YouTube. So I began reading books, going to bookstores and buying books. I began going to the library. I began calling up and talking to practitioners, seeking them out. My mom and I had made a plan, and we decided we'd try these other practitioners. And since insurance wasn't going to cover it, we knew that what mattered was getting my dad back. So we determined we were going to do whatever we needed to do so that we could pay for it and he could have those treatments. And by and large, it worked. He got better. My frustration was there was still no one to guide me. I would talk to the acupuncturist about acupuncture and that was great. But when I asked them about other therapies, nutrition or other things that could be done, they just shrug their shoulders and say that they didn't know. When I talked to the nutritionist, they talked to me all day about nutrition, but I'd ask if other therapies could be helpful or what about this or what about that? And again, they just sort of shrugged their shoulders. So not only was I not getting help from the MDs, the conventional doctors as far as what I should do, but I wasn't getting help from the alternative therapies or the holistic treatments either. It was all left up to me. And what happened was that some things worked and we saw improvement, but a lot of them didn't. And we ended up wasting a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of effort going down dead ends and trying things that ended up not leaving us any better. So I was so frustrated. Now, look, the good thing after a year and a while, my dad was much better. Was he the man that he was before the stroke? Absolutely not. But was he able to mostly take care of himself and be okay? Yes. He had significantly improved despite the fact that he was still very disabled. Now, part of this, if you have ever tried to care for a loved one or you've tried to help them, you know how frustrating it can be. They don't listen to your advice or they don't do what you ask them to do. Still, I'm very proud of my dad and the work that we put in and how we helped him. And at this point, things were good enough that I was able to leave home, get married, and start that life that I've had to put off because of my dad's stroke. During this time, my family had suffered. I had suffered. I'd spent countless days and nights in doctor's offices and libraries talking to practitioners. I had stacks of books around me that I had read. And I sat there one night surrounded by all of these books, looking at them and thinking about what was my future going to be. The person I was before all of this started was gone. That wasn't the person I was anymore. And I realized that now I wanted to be the doctor. I wanted to be the person that helped other people. I wanted to be the person that I had been looking for for all this time so that others didn't have to go down this long and painful road of trying to figure it out themselves, of going to different doctors and practitioners, of spending money, of trying things, finding some that succeed and some that fail. If I'd had someone to guide me from the very beginning, think about what that journey would have meant to my family and my father and, and how our lives would have been different. So I talked to my wife and I decided that I was going to become a doctor. So I went and started interviewing other doctors, trying to figure out what the best path is for me. And thankfully, some very kind MDs quickly showed me that that wasn't the right path for me, that my more holistic, broad open-minded perspective, openness to all therapies, whether it's conventional or alternative, was just not going to fly then or even now with the type, of the type of training and the type of practice that the vast majority of MDs out there are doing. I was lucky and grateful enough through a friend of a friend to find something called naturopathic medicine, which was the holistic approach that I've been looking for 
all this time, that took the rigorous medical background, but grafted this open-minded approach where all therapies are considered. I knew when I heard about it that that was the approach for me. So first I had to go back to back to college again to do two years of undergraduate work that I hadn't done before. And then my wife and I picked up, sold all our belongings and moved to Seattle where I could go to medical school. It's a lot of years of sleepless nights and a tremendous amount of work that made me lose some of my hair, but it's resulted in this profession and this calling that I love so very much. I'm so grateful now to be that guide, to be the mentor, to be the coach that can give people the advice and the direction that can help them not have to go down all of those dead ends that I had to go down when they're going through their own healing journey. I can help accelerate their results and I can help change their lives. And I'm so grateful for that opportunity. All right, folks, that is my story. That's how I'm so grateful. That is why I have become the doctor that I've become. All right, in the future, I will share with you more of my story so you can better understand what brings me here and how we have developed Aspire Natural Health to be the practice that it is, how we help to guide people who are suffering from digestive issues and autoimmunity to live bigger and better lives. All right, until next time, take care.